Everybody, it's Gina here from Gina Makes It. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am talking all about books, and we're going to discuss the five types of books that are perfect for junk journals. The first type of book that you might want to look for when you're out hunting for junk journal supplies are children's books. All shapes and sizes, all different types of children's books are perfect for incorporating into junk journals. There are storybooks like the Dumbo I was just paging through. There are these school readers, which are more like textbooks. They're old fashioned or antique textbooks that kids used to use. All about story reading and phonics and that type of material. Some have for color illustrations. Others have just black and white. Some of the fonts are large. Some of the fonts are small. It just adds so much variety to junk journals. Another type of children's book that was prevalent throughout the late 1800s and the early 1900s are storybook uh, collections, anthologies, which short, short stories, poems, illustrations, music, all based around like a certain theme. So this one was through fairy halls. So they're all about fairy tales. And that one was from 1920. And this is called Chatterbox. And it is another anthology of short stories. And it has full page, quarter page, half page, black and white illustrations, along with lots of text to fill your junk journals with. Then of course there are storybooks that can be incorporated. There are so many different types of vintage children's storybooks. The stories are sweet, the illustrations are sweet, and even the book is a nice base to use for a journal of some sort. This is a Richard Scarry book, which coming from a child of the 80s, I would say that it's not that vintage, but it is still pretty vintage. You can see there are a lot of nice illustrations in it, lots of encyclopedia-like pages to incorporate into your junk journals, and it is just a wonderful addition to any junk journal. Number two in our top five list are nonfiction books. Nonfictions add a great neutral element to your junk journal signatures. I love adding these old dictionary pages with these gorgeous illustrations on them. This is a dictionary from 1929 and they just do not make dictionaries like this anymore. They are just beautiful. The paper is so thin and fragile. I just love them so much. I also like to add poetry or short story anthologies into my junk journals. I tend to gravitate towards literature type themes. So this makes sense to me. I love having this as a background image or kind of a theme throughout all of my neutral junk journal signatures. Manuals are also a great way to add interest to junk journals. This is a typewriting manual or college textbook from the mid 20th century. It is very different. I've never seen anything like this before and when taken apart it will add wonder to a mid-century junk journal. This is another mid-century book. It is an encyclopedia for children. It's a golden book encyclopedia and you can see how rich the content inside of this encyclopedia is with the illustrations, the text, and just the overall look and feel. It would make a great addition. Cheap books that you just don't care about are a great base for junk journals if you're looking to make a book-based junk journal, but you do have to sort of be a little picky when you are selecting them if it's going to be shown. So I selected these two because I love the detail on this. I love the embossing. I just like the color. I like everything about that. Now, I don't like the fact that it says half a marriage on the spine, but I would probably cover that up somehow. I liked the brown of the first one, and I like the size of 
of this one. So these were all free, actually. And so let your friends and family know that if there are any books out there, you will take them. And then whichever ones you don't want, just donate. It's important that the books represent you and your life. So number four on our list is select books that align with your lifestyle and your interests. So I like to go camping with my family. So I love collecting the Campfire Girls books from all different years. This little Five Little Peppers book and how they grew reminded me so much of my children that I had to get them all and I love the little size and I love the illustrations and it just is sort of indicative of my life itself. We do like to visit national parks. So this book is called Children of the Great Smoky Mountains, a place that we really love to go to. And so I love the illustrations, I love the stories and so I selected this one to use as a potential junk journal as an English and American literature major in college. I love old literature and Louisa May Alcott is one of my favorite authors. So anytime I could get my hands on any of her books, I will pick it up. I feel like the more I have, the more uh, apt I'll be to cut into one and use it in a junk journal. I'll always be a Nancy Drew girl. I loved reading her as a child and I was really familiar with those yellow 1960 versions, but I'd never seen a 70s version like this before until I went into my half price books and saw a whole bunch of them sitting for a dollar on the clearance shelf. So of course, I had to add some to my collection. Of course, we can't forget about all of those old and unique books we come across when we're out hunting for junk journal supplies. This is a bird book that I've seen a few places in a few different formats, but I loved the little rectangular version of this. I knew when split apart, it would make a great quarter page to a journal signature. This is a very old 1898 book of poems and rose illustrations. I don't think I'll ever cut into this. It might be a little too difficult, but I might scan it and offer it as a kit just because it is so beautiful. This is another turn of the century book that I got from an antique store and it the size was just beautiful and you can see it says here December 25th, 1899. The pages are weathered and aged so beautiful and I just love those flowers on the cover. This is a very strange book that I came across at Half Price Books. It was $2.99 like you can see right there which you can't really pass up and it is a Russian folk song book. The cover is a linen which is very interesting and you can see there are little illustrations with music and songs and words and commentary and it is such a neat and interesting shape that I know once I take it apart it is going to be really really nice. This is a gorgeous Victorian linen book that I came across at an estate sale. The pages are actually linen and it is just beautiful. I will never take this apart and use this in a junk journal which goes against this entire video but you might take this apart and use this inside of a junk journal. Just because I won't doesn't mean that somebody else shouldn't. It's just that I love these types of books and I want to collect this on my shelf forever. Same with this next one. This is another Victorian storybook. It is just gorgeous. You can see the pages are already coming out of the spine and it has illustrations and it has little stories and it is just a very, very old book. It's the type of book that makes my heart really go pitter patter. Heaven's table, your whiskey needs. The lights were dim as our eyes met and you saw me. And forevermore, I'd like to share that vintage dream. So that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you find some inspiration from this video on how to select and source books when you're out hunting for junk journal supplies. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.